What the hell was I thinking? Picking Lane Kiffin and Pete Golden to beat Kirby Smart and the Georgia Bulldogs. I need my ass whooped. And guess what? Y'all need y'all ass whooped too for allowing me to make that dumb decision. Oh, I tried to stay with my pick, you know, that I made in the offseason. Knowing what I know now. I, stuck, I tried to stay true to my pick, but that was a dumbass decision. Lord have mercy. And Lane Kiffin, he need to slap Pete Golden ass all the way back to Oxford, Mississippi. And then fire his ass. Pete Golden is the worst defensive coordinator in all of the SEC. And I am so glad that he is not at Alabama no more. And matter of fact, I hate to say this, but the great one, Nick Saban, you need to be slapped too for keeping Pete Golden around for seven years, I mean for five years, as an offensive coordinator. You need your ass whooped. What did Pete Golden show you, the great one, Nick Saban, for five years that he is hot garbage? And finally, finally, you didn't find Pete Golden found his own way out of there. Or Lane Kiffin had to come save us from Pete Golden. Mm, mm, mm. Maybe Lane and Nick, you know, met up, had a conversation. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and Lane, Nick paid Lane to take that on Pete Golden off our hands because he just couldn't bring himself to fire that bum of a, of a defensive coordinator. I mean, Jesus, 52 to 17. Daggone, Georgia Bulldogs rolled up over 600 yards of offense on this Pete Golden defense. Even though I picked old Mr. Wynn, I told y'all that that damn defense ran by Pete Golden wasn't going to be able to stop nothing. I mean, Lord have mercy. So they gave up 49 against daggone LSU. Now they give up... <laughs> 50, 52 against Georgia. Lord, how damn mercy. Pete Golden. Pete Golden. Hell, they gave up 35 against Texas A&M last week. This is just damn sorry. Jackson Dart. I mean, they started out the game good. Started out the game good. Jackson Dart was dropping dimes. All that shit ceased after that damn second touchdown. All of it ceased. I don't know where the offense went. Maybe it was the Georgia defense. I don't know. But all of that ceased. Jackson Dart throwing a pick. You lead the man. Throw the ball out there and let him run under that thing. Pick by Javon Buller. After that, it was all downhill. For those old Miss Rebels, what a damn travesty of a damn football. Well, I ain't going to, uh, yeah, football team. And I'm blaming coaching. I don't know why y'all keep calling plays to run up the middle. You see it ain't working. And I blame that. I put part of the blame on Quashon Justin. Oh, my goodness, man. But old Miss did run for 179 yards somehow. Maybe it was all in the. Now I'll say that from the middle of the fourth, third quarter on when the second and third team defense was in there for the Georgia Bulldogs. Quashon Justin did have 75 yards and two touchdowns. It dang it didn't look like it. These fools had what? 173 yards <laughs> passing. Straight damn garbage. Anyway, Carson Beck did his thing once again, over 300 yards passing. As a matter of fact, Carson Beck, 306 yards passing. Two touchdowns in the interception. And the interception wasn't even his fault. And it wasn't even his fault. Receiver should have damn caught the ball. Kim the Milton having a field day. Oh man, Kim the Milton out there running track on these fools, man. 127 yards, two touchdowns. 127 yards on nine carries. I mean, Jesus. 14 yards a carry. Oh, man, this defense is so bad. Oh my goodness. Pete Golden, you don't need no job. You don't need to even look at a daggone football game, much less being part of the damn coaching staff. Man, take your ass and, and do something else. 
Give somebody else that dang on job. Because you just take, um, taking up space. Go be a defensive coordinator at a high school somewhere. Man, hell, they probably want, don't even want you there either. Jesus, man, this shit is sorry. Sorry. But on the other hand, let's congratulate these Georgia Bulldogs in winning their 27th consecutive game to keep the win streak alive. Let's congratulate them. Let's congratulate Carson Beck for, for that going passing for 200 or more yards in his 10th consecutive game. Let's congratulate Brock Bowers on coming back, scoring a touchdown in his first game back. Let's congratulate those guys instead of just focusing on the negative call, the Ole Miss Rebels. Let's focus on these three accomplishments. Brock Bowers coming back Looking like he <laughs> picked up where he left off. Don't even look like he has a have an injury, had an injury, the way he moving around. I didn't think he was going to be able to come back and run like that. Be on, put all that pressure on that ankle like that. I didn't. But like we've been saying, Brock Bowles, he's a different kind of athlete. So I'll just say that. So congratulations on George Bulldogs. And congratulations on George Bulldogs. On this dominant 52 to 17 win, annihilation, molly whopping, dismantling of these old Miss Rebels. Oh Jesus! I didn't think it was, I, didn't, I didn't think it was going to be this bad. Yeah, I picked old Miss to win, but did I really believe they could win? No, it was just a hope a wish, and a prayer. That's all it was. And just like my Alabama Crimson Tide, I ain't going to pick against them. You know what I'm saying? And until Georgia Bulldogs lose again, yeah, I'm going to pick against them because they they going to face my Alabama Crimson Tide in the SEC Championship. And I feel like my Alabama Crimson Tide can end this win streak, okay? I feel like they can do that, all right? And I'm going to pick my Alabama Crimson Tide to beat them. All right. But I won't pick nobody else to beat these Georgia Bulldogs. Nobody else. I don't care who they are. All right. I learned my lesson. And y'all should have to told me, advised me that I was making the wrong decision. But y'all let me jump off that cliff. I know I can't depend on y'all. To, to throw me a rope. And yeah, roll tide rise up. I ain't forgot. I just want to put throw it out there. But I can't depend on y'all to throw me a rope when I'm when I'm in when I need help. When I'm making bad decisions. Y'all supposed to be there for old KB. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, like I said, congratulations to these George Bulldogs for everything they're accomplishing. And oh, I forgot, Jackson Dart went out the game, concussed. <laughs> Everything went wrong. Everything went wrong for these guys, man. For Ole Miss. I mean, Jesus, man. Oh, Lord. Well, oh, my goodness. Trey Harris, two catches for 12 yards. And I specifically mentioned him as being their best wide receiver. Two catches, 12 yards. Oh, my goodness. The daggone uh, leading receiver only had two catches for 48 yards. Boy, this was a damn disaster for Ole Miss. But it is what it is. You win some, you lose some, and sometimes you just get your ass molly walk. And that is the case for these Ole Miss Rebels. Lane Kiffin and that damn garbage Pete Golden. Roll damn tight.